Hello it is Plurus, thanks for joining us again and welcome back to another informative video about Africa. Jack Ma, what an honor and a pleasure, welcome to South Africa. It's your second visit to the continent. Yes. What were your first impressions when you arrived into Africa for the first time? Well, because uh, I had a lot of a wrong you know, message, uh, information about Africa, like a poor and a messy and all this stuff before I came. Yeah. But when I landed, I was amazed by the, the, the nature. The people, they're so simple. We look at their eyes, they're full of passion. They want to change. So without any more delay, we should just go straight into it. In considering the African continent, Africa is no longer looked at the land of exploitation. It is rather at the moment being looked at a business hub, activities area where people can do business. Many countries around the world and different continents like in North America, Europe and also Asia knows this actually. Across the whole continent of Africa, you can see different investment areas going on in terms of the Chinese doing lots of crucial importation and also transportation networks and major infrastructural projects. Gone are those days when Africa was seen as an area or a continent based on poverty, war and also disease and diamond explorations. Africans youth today are well informed and also are headed to the right direction. There are starting business areas, launching new apps and also software that are helping most businesses across the world, initiating major business ventures and entrepreneurial projects. According to different research that we've conducted, Rwanda, Sudan, Ethiopia have an estimated growth of just over 7% at above average. African economy stands today at around 2.6 trillion whereas annual consumption and business spending is around 6.6 .6 trillion. If you look at countries like Egypt, Nigeria, South Africa, collectively accounts to the largest percentage of the African GDP, if you put that into perspective. How has African risen to this particular level as we're about to conclude on looking at those particular valuable companies in the continent? African population stands today at around 1.2 billion which is expected to grow by more than 500 million by 2030. According to Research Institute, considering Brooklyn Institute, looking at about 80% of this strong growth is concentrated in urban areas, making Africa the fastest urban regions in the world. In this particular push, African companies to compete in this area will drive African companies to compete and par with many companies across Europe, America, and also in different regions around the world comparing them to different stock markets and also like Nasdaq and growing African entrepreneurial skills and also developing different businesses within the continent. If you look at the strong growth that is rising, prosperity, bringing boom in the middle class and a more tech savvy generation, the 21st century is going to be ushered in a new era for the African region. Considering that the absence of the COVID-19 African economies are expected to perform really well. Based on those particular predictions and sooner, you will see that there are lots of different things that will be changing from the African continent considering post-COVID-19. The century as we're looking at may become Africans own and more importantly looking at different areas that according to experts they are predicting that the African GDP will reach 29 trillion by 2050 actually also a year from you. For now, we encourage you to watch our other videos on our YouTube channel. We are looking forward to meeting you soon and have a good day. Bye-bye.